guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now guys, this is just a very quick video to show you my beautiful Pinguicula butterwort and my Pinguicula tina in amazing flower and the flowers are so beautiful. And this little plant has been flowering now for weeks. It's obviously one of the, the carnivorous plants, one of the butterworts. And it was just starting to, it's been flowering all through probably the past couple of months. On and off, the flowers will die back and then more buds will be coming up. And the plant is starting to die back now for the winter, as you can see by the leaves. But it's come up with more flowers again. And uh, funny if the leaves were just dying back and it's got loads of new growth right in the middle of it there. But the flowers are beautiful, like a bluey lilac. Isn't it pretty, guys? Look at that. They're almost like, um, a bit like a pansy. <laughs> They're really pretty. And I keep this plant here with my other carnivores in here, in the polytunnel. And I uh, normally during the summer, I will keep all these in about maybe a couple of, of centimeters of rainwater. But because it's cool and damp now here in Ireland, I just keep them all moist but I don't keep them sitting in water anymore now, um, just keeping them moist. And they seem to be doing really well. Um, obviously the, the big, um, the Saracenias here are starting to die back as well. And some of the, as you can see, the Venus flytraps are all starting to die back. And then we had some of the, the butterworts here, that um, actually from, from Ireland that my friend Shane gave me. These actually died back. Um, about a month ago, completely all the leaves died back, which is normal for these. And it's all the new growth all coming up again, all starting to grow, all new growth. So it's amazing, carnivores are plants. And I'm still, I'm still relatively new to carnivores. I have obviously these in my collection, but I'm not an expert. So um, I'm just sharing with you what I have learnt and um, what is in beautiful flower today. As I say, I've successfully grown Venus flytrap from seed and um, these are the seeds. I won't get too close. These are about a year and a half now. Well, 2016 July I sowed them and they were in a seed tray and I've put them all into an individual pot and the macro probably won't let me go too close, but they're all very tiny, um, very tiny there, but they seem to be doing okay. And there's a few more which I've got also in there as well from the seed grown from seed so so far so good and i wanted to share the beautiful flowers with you so guys i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from northern ireland until the next video guys bye bye